An objective button. Wow, guys, we're playing without a graphics card. Yo, what's up guys, Joey here. Today we build another gaming PC, but this time without a graphics card. And our budget for this build is $500. If you total all these parts up, it comes under to just under $500. So you're probably already aware of the current GPU situation, but if you're not, GPU prices are very inflated right now. Miners bought up a lot of them. People are buying them up in bulk and then selling them for even more inflated prices. Here's the start of the show in today's build. And I've already seen a lot of you guys' comments telling me to do builds with AMD's newly released CPUs or APUs. So if we take a look at the first generation of AMD Ryzen, all motherboards that came out, such as this one, the motherboard had a video output this one has an HDMI output but the first Ryzen CPUs didn't have onboard graphics so you couldn't even use the onboard HDMI port you have to have a graphics card to even get a video signal out of your build well this all changes with this right here they now come equipped with Vega graphics so on February 12 two APUs dropped the Ryzen 5 which we went with retails for $170 that's how much I got it for and the Ryzen 3 2200G retails for $100 so as far as the 2400G I have no idea how it performs I didn't look at any of the benchmarks I just thought it would be better that way because you guys know how we do it here. I'm going to go over the parts, the prices, and why I picked them. I'm going to then build the thing, and then we're going to be testing out games. So what's the point of this thing even being on the market today? Why should you buy it? Well, the GPU situation, as I mentioned, this is pretty cool to just hold you off for a little bit. So in the meantime, while you're waiting for that now opportunity to even buy a GPU, you could for now play on this. Yes, it will game. And yeah, that's pretty much it as to what I think is special about it. It'll just hold you off. It's capable of gaming. And when you then finally add a graphics card to your build, this thing will be more than capable of supporting it in modern games. Okay guys, so starting off with our motherboard, I picked up the MSI Tomahawk. It's a B350 chipset. It has a red line going through on the side of the motherboard like this that lights up red. That's cool for aesthetics. So for our RAM, we went with a kit of eight gigabytes rated at 2400 megahertz. Ryzen's APUs really benefit from higher clocked RAM. 2400 megahertz is not the slowest RAM in the world, they'll be more than adequate to pair with your APU. But yeah, higher clocked RAM such as 3000 megahertz may provide more stable FPS. But also keep in mind that one of the prices that is also inflated are RAM prices. This kit used to cost 30 something dollars back in the beginning of next week. I kid you not, so that was awesome. All right, moving on to the RAM. The RAM we picked up from Amazon.com. We went with eight gigabytes of DDR4. It's white, 38 bucks. It's gonna match the build. It looks awesome, just simple, you know, nothing special. In the year 2016, yeah, this same kit was around 30 to $40. The price now in some cases is more than triple. So higher clock the RAM is gonna cost you even more. I picked up that kit for $95. A one terabyte hard drive, $45. We picked up a Daredevil Funko Pops figure to stick in there. We're not gonna count this as part of the price, but I believe it was like nine bucks. So our power supply, you guys who've been following all my PC builds, you're probably like, oh, well that's different. Usually I go with EVGA power supplies. The thing is right now, they're all out of stock. And when they are in stock, they're very expensive. I am talking about EVGA's 80 plus certified, such as the 430 watt and the 500 watt ones. So I shopped around and found this. This is a pretty good deal right now. It's a Thermaltake 500 watt. It's currently going for $40 on Amazon and all the parts used in this build will be linked in the video description. I also picked up some fan splitters. What this does is the motherboard has a fan input. You hook this up into the fan input and then it splits it into two fan inputs. I just want it just for aesthetics. The black cable along here looks a lot nicer than the cables and the fans. So then I could hide the fan cables in the back of the build while in the front of the build only this is shown. And you guys already know how we do it here on the channel. Every build, I try to have an RGB LED strip in there. You guys have probably been noticing that I've been going with a lot of Cooler Master cases lately. And no, I'm not sponsored by Cooler Master, but Cooler Master, if you're seeing these, hook me up with a business email so I could request some more cases from you guys. Cooler Master has been killing it with its cases lately. I think they have a very cool line of appealing cases at appealing prices. I picked this case up for $60. I think it usually goes for $80, but on Amazon right now, it's been $60 for quite a few weeks now. So go cop it if it's 60 bucks, it's a good deal. 
Masterbox Pro 5 and it comes equipped with three RGB LED fans. And with the motherboard we chose, it allows me to connect the three RGB fans to the motherboard and with an MSI program on our desktop, we're gonna be able to control the lights to change them to any color we want with cool breathing effects too. So let's build this thing. You can see inside the computer the most with this color. So the problem we're having right now guys is that the new Ryzen 2000 series processors are not compatible with the motherboards that are out on the market right now. At least when you get them shipped to you, they may or may not be compatible. It depends what BIOS version they come shipped out with. So it's not guaranteed if it's gonna work or not. So yeah, what I have to do to make this work is I'm gonna have to update the BIOS to the latest version which is online and then it'll work. But that's obviously a big hassle. Now here's the good news. AMD is obviously gonna come out with a new chipset that's gonna support the new processors out of the box. That chipset's gonna call it the B450 chipset and that's set to come out March. So like I said in the description of this video, I'm gonna post links to all the parts used in this build. But for the motherboard, I'm not gonna post a link to this motherboard. Instead, when the B450 motherboards drop, I'm gonna post not one, but three links to three motherboards that will be pretty good fit for this build. And of course, we'll support this processor right out of the box. So yeah, be sure to check the description of this video later in March. March. All right, we're gonna spawn in on this boat where right now we're playing Battlefield 1. Okay guys, 1080p resolution, low quality settings. Now in the game mode we're playing is operations. I like this game mode the most because everyone's all bunched up and pretty much it gets real hectic. So it's the best way to test out Battlefield 1 in my opinion. Whoa. Okay, so it looks like it's been around 40 FPS for a lot of the gameplay, which is definitely playable. Overall, it's pretty stable at 40 FPS, occasional drops here and there. But yeah, guys, if this is how this performs without a graphics card, we're playing on a CPU, guys. We're playing on integrated graphics. So for integrated graphics, I'm really impressed with this performance. Battlefield 1 is one of the most demanding games that we're gonna be testing in this video. Oh, we got an FPS drop right there. And I got blown up. And that guy just crashed into the castle and killed himself. <laughs> so I like to scope in and out and see if we get frame drops. That sometimes would give me frame drops in Battlefield 1. And it looks pretty stable. Oh, but see, look at that. It's kind of glitching right there, isn't it? Like, why is it black? That's kind of, oh, it's not rendering the water. Huh, that's interesting. Is it still, oh, okay. But once we leave the water area, it doesn't flash that much anymore. But let me see, let me turn to the water. Yup, the water makes it flash. It's like tripping out on the water. I'm pretty sure that's related to just the system memory. I got you, bro. Okay, you know what? I'm not getting any kills this game. I'm performing really bad. All right, time to turn up. Let's go, let's go, 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 push up, push up, push up. Why are you flashing like that? Oh my God. What? This is one good benchmark though, guys. Like, when is Battlefield this epic? Usually there won't be this many explosions. My God, this is bombing us left and right. All right, we won. I didn't get a single kill that game, but hey, at least there was a lot of explosions. Oh, please let me get that sentry kit, bro. Wow. Look at all these guys punched up. FPS is so stable. We're like not getting like hardly any stutters. And this is Battlefield 1. I can't see anything. Oh, you're done now! You're done now! Woo! Okay, so I'm at my crib, but once again, we're playing at 1080p resolution. And if I go too fast, just pause it. But the settings is all set to normal. Okay, here we go. Can it handle an explosion? 
Dude, it didn't even drop. The top one is Prius. Whoa. All right, let's try that again. Oh, we got an FPS drop right there. Gotta get away from that thing. And boom. Okay, that was a good getaway. No, get away from me. Oh, oh I can't, can't drive. Whoa, FPS just went down the drain right there. Oh, oh really? I got a star because of that? Come on, that was not my fault. Should I hide right here? Oh, go loud. Ah! Trevor, why'd you do that, bro? Get out the car, bro. Take cover behind it. They'll never take us alive. Oh, I didn't want this. Why did it have to be this way? All this fuss because the guy got in front of me? Come on. You don't want this, man. It ain't worth it. They don't pay you enough for this. Just stand down. Stand down. Oh, frame drop. Can't aim. Don't worry. It's not lethal. They're rubber bullets. Rubber bullets. Don't worry. It's all good. Oh, here we go. Is it going to drop? How much is the FPS going to drop? Whoa. Look at that FPS. Didn't even drop, boy. Oh, there it is. Now it's dropping. Oh, oh, oh. Come on, Trevor. We got to roll out, bro. Go, 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 go. Oh, my God. I can't drive. The frame rate's too low. No. All right. Just hopped in the game with CSGO, guys. 1080p resolution, and these are our settings. If I keep getting these frame drops, I'm going to have to drop the settings. Oh. Yeah, look at those frame drops. Dude. Oh, those frame drops are horrible. Can't play a competitive game with that. All right. All right, I'm, I'm angry. Oh, come on, stutter, not right now. <laughs> oh. Dude, come on, why are you stuttering? I don't know guys, but like I said, I don't think you should make the APU like your permanent graphic solution. Definitely later on down the line, invest in a graphics card. This is just for the time being to be able to game. All right, let's change it to right there. Apply. Yeah, performance looks really solid. I'm not seeing any stutters. The lowest FPS has gone on this graphics preset is like 50, but for the most part, it stays pretty high, above 60, oh, 46 right there. But it's definitely playable. Oh, let's get wrecked. <laughs> GG rip. Okay guys, we're playing Overwatch now. 1080p resolution and I set the graphics quality to the low preset. But yeah, I have not gotten one whole stutter in Overwatch so far, so that makes me really happy. <laughs> it's definitely doing a lot better than CSGO. Remember, CSGO was not on the lowest setting, so I don't really like lowering the settings too, too low because then the game just looks like Play-Doh. So that's why I'm gonna play all the games in 1080p resolution, but you still have the option to lower the resolution to like 720p. Okay, so Battlefield 1 performance is great. GTA 5 performance is great. Counter-Strike, uh, it's good. You could lower the settings. I didn't lower them that much, but eventually I lowered it to a point where I wasn't experiencing that many stutters. Dota 2 was great. Overwatch is looking awesome. No stutters at all. Okay, guys, we're now playing some Rainbow Six Siege. All right, we're going to try out the low quality preset, 1080p resolution. I'm just going to play rank. Don't even know how the performance is going to be, but whatever. Here we go. I'm too focused on the game. I didn't even acknowledge the performance. Look at it. We're in the 60s and we're playing Rainbow. That's so awesome, man. All right, I'm just going to come back over here. I'll get that bar boy. Got Echo. So we're playing Left 4 Dead 2 at 1080p resolution. And the settings are fairly high, not maxed out. Oh, we gotta help our Canadian boy. Get him up, get him up. Oh, the Charger. Yep, Left 4 Dead 2 is definitely more than playable. But yeah, like older Call of Duty titles like Modern Warfare 2, Call of Duty World at War. And the first Black Ops 2 is probably gonna perform really well. Of course, I'm assuming I won't be testing out those titles. I didn't download them. After this, we're gonna be testing out Fortnite and PUBG. Left 4 Dead 2 is a classic laid back game. And of course, with all the mods, it's pretty awesome. This game has a high replay value. I set everything to low, but our 3D resolution is at 100%, and the resolution we're playing at, 1080p. Oh, oh, oh my god! Is he gonna get a gun? He almost took me out. Ooh, got a feisty one. Well, he doesn't know I'm here. He just took out a shock. He just caught the shock and he knows I'm here, doesn't he? Mm -hmm. 
I went ahead and just set everything to very low, and there's our resolution. Oh, there's a guy in here. Dude, that stutter. Oh my. What? What did he? No, no, <laughs> come on, no. Dude, I would have so got that guy if the game didn't stutter. Oh, is that a guy? Uh, okay. Yeah, let's go to the action. No one's over here. It's quiet. Oh, that's a guy. All right, got my eyes on him. That's my next target. Oh, is that another guy right there? Ooh, yep. They just took each other out. He's probably injured. I see him. You guys see him? He looks like a little ant. I don't want to shoot though. I think the bullet drop is just not good at bullet drops. Too. He has all the hillside. I'm just behind his trees. Pretty sure he saw me already. He ain't dumb. Oh, we got another guy over there too. <laughs> maybe, maybe this guy will take care of this guy. Or maybe someone's gonna show up right behind me right now and take me out. You know what? Let's just play it safe and go up this hillside. Let's see if anyone's up over here. Ah, brace yourself. Wow, this one I have a little getaway over there. It's kind of far, but getaway. Boop shot, be fire and work. That sounds really close. Right over that hillside. Is this guy trying to flank me? That one guy or something? That's a bush. There, I know there's a guy over here. Okay, let's go over there. Oh. Wait, what is it? Bushes. These bushes, I keep confusing them for people. Oh, I hit him. Oh, I think I hit him too. When you, hear, when you see those little flashes of red, that's when you hit him. Is he dead? Or is he prone? Yeah, he's prone. Did this guy have a sniper? Watch him have a sniper. Watch him just get a headshot him right Come on, I'm so bad at bullet drop. This is looking at me, dude. This guy's just teasing me. Oh, okay, they're coming towards me. Oh, it's a car. Oh, he got out. He got out. He wants to fight. 